In the previous session, we had used chmod command to modify the permissions of the file, wherein we had used symbolic representation to modify the permissions. In this session, we are going to learn how do we use the octal representation to specify the file permissions. And in addition to that, we'll also look at the file permissions for a directory. We'll try to understand what we can perform with the directory if we have the read permission and what we can perform when we have the write permission and same way when we have the execute permission with the directory. So let us try to look out the various files present in directory out here and you can observe that we do have some C files, we have some TXT files and then we also have an A.org which is an executable file. So whenever you try to print in long listing, we have seen that the first column gives you the type of file as well as the file permissions. The file permissions for the user, the group and others and each of this corresponds for 3 3 bits. Now if you want to specify the same file permission using octal representation then we can represent that through 3 octal digits. Each of the octal digit represents the permissions for user, group and others. The possible octal values what you can represent is 0 to 7. Now, if you want to understand what the octal value represents and what is the corresponding permission what we have, just look at the bit pattern out here. Now you can assume that you have read bit, write bit and execute bit. Now if all the three bits are 0 and whose corresponding octal number is 0, it means that we don't want to give any permission for that particular user. Now if value is 1, that is 0, 0, 001, right? We are not going to give the read permission, neither the write permission. We want to give only the execute permission. And the same way, 010 means we are going to only specify the write permission. And then 011 represents the write and execute permission. If you want to give only read permission, we just pass on 100 and the octal digit is 4. And if you want to pass on read and write without execute, we say 110, which is 6, right? The octal digit. And if you want to give read, write, execute all, we just say 7. So remember, for user, we use one octal digit, anything between 0 to 7. For group, we specify anything between 0 to 7. And for others, we need to specify anything between 0 to 7. Now let us try to take up this file1.txt and let us try to remove all the permissions for that. If you want to remove all the permissions for that, we just use ch mode and then we pass on 000, right? And then we just write file1.txt. Now, if you just look into the long listing out here, you can observe that file 1, we are not giving any permissions either for the user, group or the others. The next thing is, we'll try to give all the permissions for file 2. Remember, as of now, we have read and write for the user and group and we only have the read for others. We would like to give all the permissions for file 2, okay? Now, we'll just write chmod 777 and then we'll just write file2.txt and you can just see the long listing out here. Fine. Okay. Now, the same way if you want to say that I don't want to give the write permission to the file, but I want to give the read permission, right? So with first.c, what I'll do it is, I'll just try to change that. Remember for the user, I want to say only read permission. Only read permission is read bit should be 1, write and execute bit should be 0. So I'll get 4 for this. And then for group and other users, I don't want to give any permissions. So I just pass it on 0 and 0. Only I want to give the read permission for the owner of the file. So I'll write ch mode 400 and then I'll just try to write first.c. Right? So you can just see out here. Now, we already know that what we can perform if we have the read permission and what we can perform if we have the write permission. Now, if you have the read permission, you can uh, open the file for the purpose of reading. So now, when do we use this for our opening of the file for the reading? So whenever we use the cat command, like for example, cat first.c is going to work perfectly fine. Remember, we are able to read the contents and print the contents. The same way, file2.txt, it has read as well as write. So, we will also be able to do that, file2.txt. Now, coming to file1.txt, we do not have the read permission. If we just try to write file1.txt, right? Here, you can just observe that it's basically giving you permission denied error, right? Because we don't have the read permission for this. Now let us try to write data. When you want to write data, you need to have the write permission. Like for file 1, we don't have the write permission. Now, if you try to open this file 1 in any of the text editor, either it might be VI editor, you can just observe at the bottom it says that permission denied to read. 
we don't even have the permission to read neither we can write it let's take a first dot c uh, we just try to use this vi first dot c please do remember it has read permission does not have the write permission so we can just observe it says read only and if i try to modify if i just say okay fine i'd like to write this like uh, print a message and then i'd like to save this it says read only option fine now the same way when you use cat remember cat without any output redirection operator it's going to just read the content display on the screen but with this output redirection operator it is going to create a file or it's going to override the content of the file now if i just try to write this like file1.txt right since i don't have the right permission for this particular file it gives me an error the same way even append i will not be able to append the file you can observe i will not be able to append the file right okay now the same thing if i try to do it with file2.txt it will work fine now let us try to understand what is the permissions specify for directories now let me try to list out the directories out here you can just see we have a lot of directories and out of that i'll just consider one of the directories just see kanda out here remember all the directories basically have the first character as d indicating the type of file is directory then it has read write execute for the user and the group and it only has read write execute permission for the others fine okay now with the default permission which is given for every directory whenever you create it what are the things you can do you can enter inside a directory with the help of cd command you can list the contents of the file with the help of ls command you will also be able to create a file inside a directory now let me try to remove the permissions of execute from a directory you can either use the symbolic notation or the optical notation so let me just try to do that i just write chmod i just try to say user minus execute right for sikandar fine now i'd like to get inside sikandar it says that permission denied why you can just observe this like sikandar does not have the execute permission out here this particular directory does not have the execute permission here so we are not allowed to enter inside a directory if you want to enter inside a directory we require the execute permission now let me try to set that permission again you can set u plus x or you can also use the octal representation so i'll just write octal representation 7 see for groups and others we are least bothered about it you can have anything out here i just specify this now if you want you can just have a look out here then now you can just observe we do have the execute permission we are able to enter in right okay now i'm able to use ls to see the contents of the file and i'm also able to create a file out here touch a.txt fine okay you can just observe a.txt is created now let me just come back and then uh, i'd like to remove the read permission for the directory i just write chmod again as i said i want to remove the read permission let us have the write permission there now for removing the read permission but to provide the write and execute permission i need to specify 011 which is corresponding to the octal value 3 and then i'm least bothered about the group and others so i'd like to pass on this permission you can just try to have a look out here i do have the write and execute but i don't have the read permission now can i enter inside the directory the answer is yes because if you want to enter inside the directory we require the execute permission now will i be able to list the contents of the directory with the help of ls it says no cannot open directory so whenever you want to perform the listing of contents of a directory we need to have the read permission but can you create a file like for example i just write b.txt i'm trying to create an empty file out here and you can just observe creation of the file is right but you cannot list the contents of a directory fine now i'm back to the parent directory now right okay now i'd like to remove the write permission but I would like to pass on the read permission. So how will I do it? CHMOD, you can just write 101. 101 is 5. Meaning, you will be giving the read permission. You will not be giving the write permission, but you will also be giving the execute permission. Right. Now let me just try to get in. Since I do have the execute permission, I will be able to get inside a directory. Well and good. 
Now I'll be able to use ls, right? See b dot txt which we created in the previous attempt when we had the red permission that is already existing out here, and we are able to see this. Now let me try to say touch c dot txt. It says that permission denied. So what are the learnings out here? We learned that for the directories, only when you have execute permission, we can enter inside a directory. Only when you have the read permission, we can list the contents of a directory. Only when you have the right permission, we'll be allowed to create a file inside a directory or for that matter, even removing a file from that directory. Like I was not able to create it. Now let me try to remove the content b.txt. I'm not allowed to either add any file or remove any file. Fine. I hope you have clear with this. Thank you.